And here is a Roland JX-3P programmable preset. Polyphonic synthesizer. I have to get rid of this one, but got to make room for more stuff. So let's take a look around and how this thing looks and works. And it seems like uh, everything's working as far as I can tell. There's some uh, an extra editor that I don't have that does other stuff and tape memory and things like that that I don't uh, I don't test. But it, it, all the keys play, all the all the sounds play. So uh, let's take a look uh, and go right up the the keyboard here. sound wise we're on a1 which is strings let's uh plug through those real quick Two. the working sounds working one two and three brass lovely brass electric piani and electric piani too Don't sound too bad either. And harpsichord, vibraphone, chimes, celesta, accordion, and voice. Yeah, okay. Well, that's the 80s for you. And then group B, we have violin. Flute. Oboe. Song whistle. Synth bass. Synth bass too. Guitar, juicy funk. Yeah, that's juicy. Filter flow. Flat fit. Synth wah. And funky clap. Pulsar. Oh, nice piano. Yeah, so uh, let's see. I think we had the chorus on for that stuff. We can take that off. Oh, we can do a hold too. And group C is uh, and D are the, the synth sounds. Ooh, how about that? has a pitch bend, wide now, LFO trig, I don't know what that does, it doesn't light up, so I don't know what that does, brilliance, there's some like tone, hold we take off, transpose key, I'm not sure what all that does or doesn't do, sensitivity, all that kind of stuff, sequencer, rate, all that stuff, that's out of my purview. <laughs> So uh, it's in, I'd call it good condition. Um, oh, the volume now is a little scratchy. I usually work it around a bit. Let me hold a note and do that. Yeah. Should be friends with deoxit. I try to avoid it. Uh, as much as possible. Sometimes working it around a bunch will get uh, things to clear up before spraying stuff in there. And I've just been too lazy to do that. So um, we do have the side 
there with that side on. This side looks like it's either been replaced or something. It's not the same sort of thing. Uh, other things to note, the power cord's a little bit loose back here. You can kind of see it's uh, it's coming out from its, its thing. That's not too hard to fix, but there again, I'm lazy. So I'll let you worry about that if you were the one to give this one a home. Uh, we're gonna give it a flip up and look at the bottom side. Whoa, real quick. And uh, see, it's, take a quick scan of that, it's got some use. And uh, a few scratches here and there. And back. Yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, a couple of screws have been replaced. And we'll do a flip. Look at the back side. Real quick. Sorry, I'm one handed on this whole operation. And I don't like editing either. So, uh, you got the memory. Here's our. Uh, if we can focus in on the plates and see what it says. Power switch. Uh, I haven't checked all the MIDI functions and stuff like that. It's just, again, out of my purview. Roland. Uh, tuning works. I did get it to tune up. I haven't worked with tape memory or, or the hold pedal or anything like that. Uh, there are three levels that work too. So that's pretty much the overview of this early 80s Roland JX3P uh, on available at Apex Annex. Um, if it sells, uh, if and when it sells, I will uh, add the uh, the selling price and date to the to the description to help uh, future buyers and sellers. Uh, there, okay. Thanks for watching. Apex Annex out.